Hello everybody, welcome to the Trains in World March Roadmap. Um, there was not so much in here, but we'll go through it nonetheless. Uh, released two days ago, here is the official graphic. Uh, if you want to read that, pause the video. Uh, the first thing that happened, uh, Rosenheim to Salzburg was released. I do not have this because it doesn't look spectacularly interesting. I've heard some good things about it. I've heard some bad things about it. Um, to be honest, I haven't really investigated it that much. It's probably something that I might pick up when it goes on sale in, I don't know, six six months' time. Um, but if, if you have this, then please go ahead and um, put your thoughts in the comments below. So I won't spend too much time on this. Uh, 19th of March is when the Goblin Gospel Oak to Barking Line or Suffragette Line will release. Uh, Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside. I'm going to make a second video on this because they there was enough information for them to pump out a whole new article, so I'll probably do that. Uh, there are 154 playable services, over a thousand services from layers, although not everyone has every layer. Uh, there are freight layers included for things like the Class 66 and other layers for um, like the railhead treatment train. There is East Coast Mainline AI traffic uh, at, where was it, Crouch, Crouch Hill, I believe. Um, they are investigating adding the 710 to run uh, overground services on the part of the Watford DC line on Bakerloo. Um, they don't have a date for that, it's not going to come on release, they don't even know if they're going to do it, they just said, uh, we're looking into it. So, um, look, I'm not going to hold my breath on that, particularly, uh, and it's going to be £30. Um, I can't even remember if that's standard route price or not. Um, but yeah, uh, I've already made a, a video on this, so if you want more information, watch that. And I, I, as I said, I will make another video very soon. Uh, here are some photos. I must say they don't look awful. They don't look that bad. Um, this is the AI on the East Coast mainline. Uh, we've got another shot in the snow. Uh, next is Fife Circle. This is a Rivet Games route. We don't have a date for this one yet, um, but it doesn't look too far. Uh, they've got some nice looking pictures of the 170. It looks a little bit off. I think the colours are a little bit too saturated. Maybe the yellow is a bit too strong on the front. Uh, but they have a dev blog video um, on their photogrammetry uh, and a walk around of the class 117 now available. Uh, there will be working GSMR, although that's a feature that we've had in a few routes. Um, they used photogrammetry to do things like the cab, as far as I'm aware, which is where you take lots of photos and then software tries to piece the photos together into sort of a 3D mesh to make modelling a little bit perhaps more accurate and faster. Uh, 52 miles, 20 stations, so it's not short and it's got a lot of complexities in it and it's um, I don't have the route map here, but uh, I have a whole video on the five circles, so if you want to learn more, watch that. Um, it is a particularly nice route because it's got two branches. It's non-linear, uh, which I like. Uh, it includes the depot at Haymarket in Edinburgh and, of course, the fourth railway bridge, as you can see there. Um, I must say it doesn't look fantastic. It doesn't look bad, but there are some nasty 2D textures there. Um, and I think there could be a little bit more detail. They've also said that they are looking into the possibility of adding the Leven branch, Leven branch, uh, when that opens in the coming months, I presume. Um, so there's some potential there, hopefully, for, for future expansions. Who knows? But again, I'm not holding my breath. It's Rivet Games. Uh, but that probably means they've laid the track, at least. Um, like they did on a Rosa, uh, not on a Rosa, on Bernina, they laid the track all the way to St. Moritz. Next, Semmering Barn, not too much going on here. They put a walk around of the tourist, what is it, the 1116 um, on YouTube. This is a dovetail route, by the way. Um, and they've just clarified that the, there are some changes to the tourist locomotive, including updated sounds. And I think there are some changes in the cab to the screen layouts. So I remember hearing somewhere that there was something about an all digital screen layout, but I can't quite remember. Uh, also, I should probably say that um, the talent one, or what it seemed to suggest the roadmap, that the talent one will be included in this route, uh, regardless if you have 
uh, the Austrian route or not, um, which is nice, I guess. Uh, there are some a few things that I've just stuck in sort of quick fire here. You've got the San Bernardino line. There is no real new information or screenshots. Um, we don't have any extra stuff to talk about. Uh, they reuse the same photo, I think, or the, like the same basic thing, which is just a work in progress model. Um, I think this will come later on in the year. They didn't mention anything about the new US route. Uh, which is a shame. I have strong suspicions that that's going to be an LIRR version 2. Um, Peak Forest expansion is going to be later than originally expected. Um, SimTrack, I believe, who are making that, um, have quite clearly come out and said, it's taking longer than we thought, so we're going to delay it so that it's a good product. Now, make of that what you will. I read that as a good thing. Um, I can't remember the last time Dovetail Games did that. So I'm going to call it commendable for now, but if it's rubbish when it releases, then obviously there's a bit of a problem there. Um, and other miscellaneous things, they have had added suspension to the class 66, as far as I can tell, which um, this, this new funky suspension, which plays around when you go over points and crossings and whatnot. Um, a reminder, this was advertised as a release feature for the game. For Trains in World 4. They made a big song and dance over how cool this new suspension was and it's now you know more or less six months later and it still is in a very very limited state on what now two trains or possibly more. It's just it's a bit of a shit show um, but you know whatever nonetheless. The one thing that they did stick at the bottom is community stuff. Uh, quite interesting what's going on in the community on the PC editor. Uh, Nexux Craft HD is working on the Eisenbahnstrecke. That is the bottom screenshot there, which is something around Berlin somewhere. Um, they only put that screenshot in. If you uh, go have a look in the forums, I'm sure you can find a lot more stuff. Um, it's an ambitious project. Who knows how much of it will get done? but doesn't look awful considering it's a community project, I must say. Uh, Vindicity is working on a new timetable for Munich to Augsburg, which will include a range of uh, new and improved S-Bahn services, um, making use of, I believe, some trackage that wasn't used in the current timetable. Um, it's already quite a busy route, so I'd be interested to see how that impacts frames, particularly around um, Munich Hauptbahnhof. Uh, that'll be quite interesting. And CFTFC is working, or has, I believe, released Toronto Commuter, which is sort of an unofficial, unlicensed Go pack for the Oakville subdivision, taking the MP36PH, I believe, uh, I think so, yeah, and the bi-level cars off Caltrain, so you have to have the Caltrain baby bullet pack for that to work, I should imagine, uh, and then it's a new livery and some... Um, a new timetable, I believe, um, which is probably something that I'll have a look at at a later date. Um, and now that's it. That's all for this roadmap. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.